Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. When the world sees you can't, it seems impossible. In your mind, on every mountain surrounding you is insurmountable. Don't forget to listen to the tiny voice. That's a dream, that's a purpose. Tell you that you can't yeah, yeah, come on, baby. Yeah, 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 you gotta be dauntless. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be dauntless. You gotta be dauntless. You gotta be dauntless. You gotta be dauntless. Do you wish to discover your dream? and live a life of purpose, then it is time to change your attitude. Welcome to today's amazing episode of Dauntless, Stay in the Curse, motivational talk show by Rose Ann Ogechuku Enakwe. We talked about reorient your mindset last week as the number one transformation you need to undergo in order to begin living a purposeful life. And today, we shall be talking about the second transformation, which is change your attitude. Remember, it's a month of transformation. In case you missed out on the previous episodes of Dauntless, Stay in the Curse, don't hesitate to visit any of our social media handles that's playing on your screen. And please, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dauntless, Stay in the Curse to catch up on previous episodes. Remember to like, share your comments, your contributions, your questions, they're all acceptable in the comment section or DM. Listen up guys, it is time to be bold, brave, courageous, and fearless. Fear is the root of all crippled dreams. Be willing to be afraid. What is a dream without fear? especially the very ambitious ones. A lot of people are not willing to be terrified and that's why they don't achieve their big dreams. It is natural to be afraid, but it is supernatural to conquer your fears. I'll say that again. It is natural to be afraid, but it is supernatural to conquer your fears. And that is where your power lies. Your ability to go against all odds and conquer that fear. So come on, give yourself that me time. Take a journey within yourself and discover your true worth. Listen to what Emily McDowell had to say about self-discovery. She said, and I quote, Finding yourself is not really how it works. You aren't a $10 bill in last winter's coat pocket. You are not lost. Your true self is right there, buried under cultural conditioning, other people's opinion, and inaccurate conclusions you drew as a kid that became your beliefs about who you are. Finding yourself is actually returning to yourself and unlearning an excavation a remembering of who you were before the world got its hands on you come on this is so powerful it's so amazing i strongly agree with her there there is something in you that has been waiting for you to reconnect to it this is the time to dump bad attitudes like self-pity, self-loathing, lack of self-confidence, which gives room to inferiority complex and low self-esteem, allowing others to take decisions for you, fear of failure, anxiety, gossip, trying to please just about everyone, holding on to the past, doubt, shying away from responsibilities, not learning from your mistakes or accepting your faults. Gluttony. Always complaining, but mounting everyone and everything. Ingratitude, greed, anger, and throwing tantrums at slightest provocation. Impatience. The list goes on and on. 
Guys, this is the time to inculcate good attitudes like self-love, forgiving yourself. It's one thing, I mean, it's easier to forgive others, but we find it difficult to forgive ourselves. Forgive yourself. Let go of the past. Be eager and willing to try new things or adventures, no matter how scary they can be. You can never know your capability or your potentials if you don't take that bold step. Get out of your comfort zone wearing self-confidence like a robe. Take corrections and admit when you are wrong. You have to conquer your fears, bearing it in mind that it's not a crime to be afraid. It is not a crime to be afraid. Eat right and ask questions. Be willing to learn new things every day. The list goes on and on. <laughs> Easier said than done, I hear someone say. But I tell you, it's never going to be easy adjusting to these new transformations. But if you rearrange your mind and be persistent, you will start getting amazing results. Don't overwhelm yourself. I mean, you don't have to force yourself because Rome wasn't built in a day. Hello, dear. You, yeah, you. Change your attitude today and walk your way to freedom and deliverance and begin living that life you have been destined for. Hey, I just don't want to sound like another motivational speaker here, no. But like a friend, who knows what it's like to have had such nasty attitudes but continuously working on becoming better and wanting to help you out with my experiences. Do you know the full meaning of risk? Well, some people define it as result is somewhere knocking. So baby, take a risk today by changing your attitude which will fully equip you to actualize your dream. To catch up on previous episodes of Transformation, simply visit our social media handles displaying on your screen. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dauntless, Stay in the Curse. It's still month of transformation. Be transformed. And come on, baby, you gotta be dauntless. Stay in the curse. See you next time. You just gotta be dauntless. Uh huh. Stay in the curse. Don't guess. Stay in the curse.